lecture the lecture number 10 you're going to look at the HTML CSS and styles so let's get started CSS can be added to HTML elements in three ways one in the line or put it in line by using the style attribute in HTML we have already used this style attribute if you've been following the second way how you can add CSS in HTML is through the internal by using the style element in the head section we shall also look at this and the third way how you can use HTML I mean CSS in HTML is by using the external CSS file we shall also look at this then CSS can identify HTML elements in only three ways one by HTML name by HTML element name two by class attribute three by the ID there are the three ways how a CSS format can identify an HTML element the most common way to add CSS in that is to keep the style in a separate CSS file normally we use CSS in a separate file and whoever here we will use inline and internal styling because this is just easier demonstration and easier for you to try it by yourself so don't worry we're going to use all these three means by of using CSS so let us switch back to our text editor and begin practicing these things so I'll create a new file by pressing Ctrl N and save as uh, 10 and it's got CSS. CSS I mean HTML CSS I don't know okay HTML style HTML and it's got style dot HTML don't forget to put the extension of the HTML otherwise you'll get problem in suggestion of a code so I'll begin by writing HTML and press the tab key and press enter then I say HTML styling HTML styling okay so let us write some things here for example I can write we can write uh, h1 I can say this is this is the most important heading this is the most important okay then I'll write maybe uh, my paragraph by putting some lorem P then I'll put here maybe lorem we have already seen what it meant by lorem and how we make it if you don't know how to make it then go to a previous video tutorial and understand how to make it these are just random ones just read the word lorem and press the tab key then to come and make sure that your word lorem is in small letters okay so this is paragraph one maybe I'll say this is paragraph one p1 okay and then make some br okay make some br okay so I'll copy this and paste it here okay and paste it there and name this is maybe this is p2 okay so that's it now let us begin by formatting this using CSS we shall begin by inline inline formatting inline formatting means you put the name of CSS or style as an attribute so I'll put here maybe style and press the tab key and then I can start formatting maybe this I want it to be red color today I just like red or purple okay, let us make it purple so I'll put the color attribute and make it purple and when I do like this it is the text that is going to look purple okay then I'll make this everything in this I'll put style I'll put the word color and make it maybe green color green okay then here I'll make here style 
I say color color yellow okay yellow and maybe put the uh, background color background color background color background color as maybe yellow the opposite of yellow I can put red okay so the text will be yellow and the color will be red so we right click here and say open in browser and this is what we expected of course the most important heading is purple paragraph one is red and you can see just it's how we expected things to be so that is how we can format HTML you can see now HCSS is adding design and that is what we call inline formatting inline formatting that is what we call inline formatting I will comment this maybe so that you can practice it when you have it by just pressing control shift and the forward slash then it will comment everything control shift and the forward slash okay so let us proceed let us proceed I'll copy the same things and now try to use another way of formatting using CSS okay I'll copy the same things I'll just put them here now this time we are not going to use inline formatting this is so tiresome just cut this let us cut this let us cut this let us also remove this and let us remove this so we have learned how to can we can format an HTML element using the inline way of formatting now we shall come to the head here between the head tag okay and put an element called style then press the tab key this is how to look like you open style and close the style so we are going to define these things using this style for example we say that one way how a style how CSS can identify a certain element is by use of by use of element element name for example if we want all the h1 tag to be red what we do we shall just write h1 then open curl bracket and press enter so between this curl bracket every condition that you write here will catch every h1 that is inside this document and make it satisfy that condition for example you can say each h1 should be color of red okay then if you come and refresh you see that h1 has to go the color of red if you have another h1 here maybe h1 maybe I put this one as my second heading okay my second heading come and refresh you can see the second heading is also having color red so whatever h1 that you have here it will always obey the rule of this tag otherwise if you change this one maybe to h2 change to h2 change to h2 it will be a different one it will not obey this rule anymore why because it's not h1 so you understand now what is meant by formatting uh, okay identifying by element that's what we call identifying by the element's name now another way to say that you can identify by use of class by use of class so how do you do class there this is the how you do class to do a class you put a dot and put the class name maybe I'll say uh, green class green okay G I'll G will be represent the green class I'll put a 
color and say color should be green and maybe background color should be uh, blue it's different weird colors okay and this is maybe I'll let me call it colored CO colored things okay CO colored okay so this is a class this is identifying by the name of the tags this is identifying by class tag class name so if you put dot dot means a class so if we run this code at this time nothing will happen why we have not given this class to any element now if we want this paragraph to obey these laws we give it a class of C of this class that we have defined here so we shall have to say class and give it C okay so if we come and refresh you can see this paragraph has obeyed this law so many elements can obey the same law even if we want to use this class multiple times we can still come and put it here maybe here okay put here and put br maybe okay come and refresh you'll see also the heading has obeyed the law so that will save us so much why because we shall be making only one class and we can use it for as many elements as possible you can use it even for a million elements so that's how we can identify an element by a class and write a class you put a dot if you do remove this dot then it will mean an element it will mean something else and you refresh it will not work so you must first put a dot a dot represents a class so you understand now then lastly we said a third way and the last way how an a, a CSS can identify an element in a document is by the use of the ID so this is how the ID works you first define the ID use hash to define an ID then put the curl brackets and don't forget to put the name of the ID so maybe we can put this one as um, how should you do it maybe uh, how, I don't know I should put H okay and then this H will have its own unique colors maybe I'll say color color uh, white background background uh, black okay then I'll come and get this remember this is an ID and there must be only one element in the whole document which has only one ID not more than one element can have the same ID so maybe this my h1 I want to give it this ID if I if I remove this comment okay I remove this tag okay if I come and refresh h1 has no any effect so if i want to format it using the id i'll have and put here the word name id and remember that it's only then i give it h okay h remember this h is the one that's going to cut this one remember only one element in the whole document must have the, an id not more than one element but if you want to format more than one element then you use a what use a class then a command refresh you can see this has caught up our first element which has the ID of H and only one and one element should be in its whole document with one ID don't use another element with the same ID for example if I come and say this paragraph is also having the same ID of H that is a bad practice even though it may work <coughs> but it's not recommended and don't use it so that's it so lastly I'll put this in the next lecture we shall try to put this CSS in the external file and you see how we can get the CSS from external file and format the this file that is in a different file of HTML so I hope you not don't you not miss 
when we are using this CSS from external file to format files in this file. But still you can do it now. I'll just cut it. I'll remove this. Okay. I'll come and refresh. Nothing is working. Why? I've removed the whole CSS. So if we want to include the external file, what we shall do, we shall create another file, control N, and save it as, you can save it whatever you want, whatever name you want, but it must be having an extension of .css. So maybe I'll, I'll save it as 10, since this is related to lecture 10, I'll save it as my style, or I'll save it as style, style dot CSS. Then click on enter. Then I'll paste the other code that we are having in our previous HTML file. This code is the one exact code that we are having here on top. I've put it in an external file and I've saved it. Okay. So if we come here and try to refresh, nothing is there. Now what is remaining is to connect this style external uh, external CSS <coughs> to import it and come and format our HTML here. To do that we use the link. You type the word link and press the tab key. Then put the name of this file that you've saved with CSS to come here. Remember we saved our file as 10 underscore style. If you don't uh, put the correct name, then it will not work. Then dot CSS. Then I'll save and come and refresh. You can see only this link has imported this style to come on our page and it is now working. So it means that we can use this style to do what? To format many pages as, how, uh, as many as we want. Because it is external and it is not inside our HTML. So it means that you can write again another HTML and another HTML and another HTML files while they are using the same style document. So that's how we use external styles to format a certain document of HTML. So that will make the end of our today's lecture. So here is a summary of what we've discussed today. We have discussed that the style attribute is the one that we put in line and we can use that to, to, to format a specific HTML element. Then we use CSS style tag to format, I mean to create an initial HTML, I mean CSS. If you still remember, we use this one in the head and we defined some, some CSS which were able to format elements in a document of HTML. Then you use the link element to refer to an external CSS file and you've seen how we've practiced that. Then you use HTML head to store the style link and the elements. For example, you can see this head is where we are putting even all our styles. Don't put this link here but you put it inside the head. Okay, so always remember these things. Then also, we use the CSS color property to make the text colored in a certain color that we want. We use the font family to tell the font style, and we use the font size for property size. You have already covered this, the font size. Then lastly, we use the border for the border of a certain element of, of the of, of HTML. So those are the things that we cover today in our today's lecture. I hope please you have been practicing them and did not get any problem. If you did then please put your problem in the comment section and we shall discuss about it. Don't miss in the next lecture we are going to look at the HTML links. It's going to be interesting when you're going to, to connect different pages of HTML and see how HTML links work. So I hope you'll not miss and let us meet the next lecture and don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel if you found this youtube uh, if you found this video helpful to you and don't forget to like and share see you next